Most of the time after the game I'd uh, go around to the players' dressing room, players' entrance uh, and collect autographs and uh, as a result of that uh, I generally was not getting home until about 10 o'clock at night because uh, it was uh, in winter it was dark and I'd wander back to Preston Station and catch the train that was available and change at Blackburn and uh, have a bobberl in a packet of crisps in the refreshment room at Blackburn and then uh, eventually got home about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I don't think you could do that uh, these days with a 13, 14 year old but uh, there you go, I did in those days. And uh, as a result of that, I was on Preston Station one night after having been on the uh, dress uh, player's dressing room and uh, bumped into Tommy Doherty. Or I saw Tommy Doherty and I arranged to bump into him and I went to talk to him and he was very friendly, he was waiting for somebody, uh, a friend to arrive and as a result of that I, uh, he, he said what was I doing, where was I going and uh, what was I doing watching Preston travelling 35 miles every weekend so I explained it all to him and as a result of that I, uh, I got to know Tommy and uh, I forced him to get to know me really and so I used to wait for him coming out of the players dressing room and uh, I'd walk home with him, he lived locally in one of these houses around the football ground at the time and I used to trot behind him uh, and we'd talk about the match and things like that uh, and uh, he was very very friendly and uh, I did that on a regular basis after that and uh, I've seen Tommy Doherty several times since uh, through my career and met him at different functions and uh, talked to him about this this particular uh, situation yeah I, again uh, this was I think the 1951-52 season and uh, Tommy thought that I came from Huddersfield I, I actually come from Settle but caught the train at Helifield and the two places again are about 40 miles apart uh, are uh, Huddersfield and Helifield but Tommy thought it was the same place and uh, Preston were playing away at Huddersfield this ne the following Saturday and he asked me if I was going and I really hadn't any intention of going but uh, he said I'll get you a ticket if you're going and so on that basis I went and he got me the ticket and it's the first time ever that any player has got me a ticket uh, I didn't even know that sort of thing existed <laughs> and I picked the ticket up, watched the match and uh, I think North End drew 1-1 if I remember rightly uh, and Tommy Doherty and Willie Cunningham uh, had uh, had a kick or two at uh, one or two of the Huddersfield players that the crowd wasn't very happy about so after the match, uh, the crowd, the Huddersfield crowd, were pretty upset about it all. And uh, <coughs> I went round to the players' entrance again, waiting for, hopefully, to see Tommy Doherty, although they were getting straight onto the bus. And he came out, and all the Preston players got onto the bus because the Huddersfield fans were getting a bit intense about it all. And uh, before the bus left, they were banging on the side of the coach and what have you. And... Uh, Tommy Doherty let the window down of the coach and uh, shouted bollocks uh, to all of them which absolutely flabbergasted me because uh, I was a young innocent and uh, language from my star player other than Tom Finney like that I just couldn't understand it at all. Didn't change my views on him though but... <laughs>